it's Coach Lauren. Today we're going to be working on some level two beam work. So we're going to start out with stretching our legs out. What we're going to do is you're going to get into your nice butterfly position. Get your heels in as close as you can. Trying to get your knees down as low as possible. Back straight and we're going to reach over. Try to smell your toes. I hope they smell good. All right, hold that there. Really get your knees as low as you can. And a couple more seconds. All right, flap your knees and we're gonna move your heels a little bit forward. So now, instead of a butterfly, you have a diamond shape. From here, you're gonna have the same straight back, reach over. Try to get your nose to your toes. On this stretch, you should feel it in the back of your leg instead of the front of your leg, like in the butterfly stretch. All right, shake out your legs again. Now we're gonna fully extend our legs. So we're in a seated pipe. I want you guys to start with super flex feet, point them all the way to the sky. You're gonna grab the backs of your feet and pull yourself in as close as you can. So feeling that stretch right under here. Grab your flexed feet, pull yourself in, make sure your knees are directly on the ground. Don't bend them, keep them straight, and hold that super flexed feet. Remember that. And now we're gonna point them super hard. Your toes should be pointing so hard into the bottom of the ground. Same thing, knees on the ground, reach forward. You can grab onto your feet on this one too to pull yourself closer. Now we're gonna alternate with our toes. We're gonna have one flexed, one pointed. I want you guys to switch those, really extending the flex of the point while we reach down. Here, switch, switch. And shake out your legs. All right, we're gonna have one leg crossed over the other. I'll face this way. And you're gonna roll out your ankle. And roll it the other direction. Super big movements. From here, same foot across. You're gonna bend your bottom straight leg up. So now you're stretching the back of your leg right here. And hold this position. If you want, you can press your knee out this way so you feel even greater of a stretch. All right, other leg down, other leg across. Roll your ankle one direction, and then all the way in the other direction. Full range of motion. Same thing, straight leg bends up. If you want, you can push your knee out. And shake your legs out. The last stretch we're gonna do is for our stomachs and our backs. I want you guys in your seal position. Reaching up as high as you can. If you want, you can try circus seal. I can't touch my head to my toes, so I'm just gonna do regular one. And then you're gonna push all the way back into your cat stretch. Try to get your shoulders into the ground or your heart into the ground. All right, now that we're done with stretching, we're gonna get into some skill work. The only thing you guys are gonna need is either a little stool or a chair that is sturdy for you to stand on. All right, let's get into it. 
So I grabbed a box for me to stand on. This one's super sturdy and can support me. You can use the side of a chair or anything that is raised up on the ground and is stable for you to stand on. So we're gonna start with some toe raises off the side of the elevated surface. So I'm gonna stand up on here. Heels should be the only thing on. We're gonna lift our toes from all the way down to all the way up. We're gonna do 15 of these. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, keep your balance, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're gonna turn around, so now we're doing heel raises. 15 of these two. Only your toes on, so all the way down. All the way up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now we're gonna turn to the side, make sure you have enough room so that a pointed toe can go on the side and not touch the floor. We're gonna do straight leg swings. So, I want your leg to go up as high as it can in the front, swing by the side, high in the back. Both of my legs stay super straight the whole time. All right, we're gonna do 10 swings. So all the way forward, back for one, two, three, hands on your hips, four, five. If you wanna challenge, you can bring your arms all the way out to the side. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we're gonna switch over to the other side. Same thing, straight legs, but all the way in front, all the way in back. Try to get full range of motion. Ten of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, now we're gonna hop off of our elevated surface and work on some of our releve walks and pivot turns on the floor. So I want you guys to try to find a line or you can place a piece of tape on the ground so that you try to stay as straight as possible. So for my line on the ground, I use some easily removable white tape. Make sure it can come off super easy so it's not stuck on your floor. We're gonna start with some releve walks. So I want these to be super slow super tight together, and we're gonna go as high as we can. So starting at one side, in your releve, do you see how close together my feet are? My next step, super close. Step, super close. Try to stay on the line, balance, close. When I get to the end, in this releve, we're gonna go for our pivot turn. So you stay on the balls of your toes, and your feet super close together, and you're gonna pivot turn, and you can step down. All right, let's do another pass of run the walks. Super close, super high. And another pivot turn. I want you guys to try it with the other foot in front now. And come down. Oops, lost my balance on the end of that one. All right, now we're gonna try some releve passe. So, before I get into the passe position, I want to see if you guys can try to remember what the passe position looks like. So, try to get into it. If you can't, I'll show you guys. So, passe is when your toe is on by your knee. Coupe is down by your ankle. Today, since we're on the floor, we're going to go for some passe walks. And a little challenge I want us to try to do is do these on releve. All right, so starting at one side, you can start in releve. We're going to go releve, passe, take a step, passe, step, passe, step, passe, and then we've got a pivot turn. All right, all the way back to try to make these as super strict and tight as possible. So up on your heel, passe, other foot, step, passe, oops, Back on your heel, step, passe, down, pivot turn. All right. 
The last thing that we are gonna do is some jumps on the line. So you're gonna jump into a releve hold. So how that's gonna look is, I'll show you in slow motion. Remember on the beam, your feet are not directly together, one is slightly in front of the other. So, one foot slightly in front of the other on my line, I'm flat footed, I'm going to swing down, my arms come down, and then as I jump up in the air into my straight jump, so super slow jump up, I'm gonna finish in releve. So, I'll show you guys fast motion. On the line, one foot slightly in front of the other, Swing down with your hands, up, and into releve. All right, so we're gonna do five of those. So, swing all the way down with your arms, up, into releve, hold. All right, swing down, up, straight jump, up to releve, hold. And at the top, I know you guys can't see my arms, but I'm holding them super tight up here. So once you swing down, you swing back up and hold up here for your releve too. All right, so swing down, up, hold. Oh, is that three? Let's do two more. Swing down, up, hold. If you guys want, you can try a tuck jump or any sort of other jump. Swing down, straight jump, hold. All right, all right, guys. So we're gonna end with some conditioning today. I want us to do a little bit of leg strength. We did a lot of leg work today, but beam is all about our balance, and it's all about being able to stay up on the high beam and have your legs support you up there. So we're gonna do some squats today. And so, for our squat position, we know that it's like we're sitting in the chair back. I want your chest up so you're not leaning down. You should be up, sitting, hands here, come up. So when we go down, we stay in as nice of a body position as we can, come back up. We're gonna do 20 squats, all right, you guys? So, one, two, chest up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You should be on the back of your heel too. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And 20. All right, you guys, good job. I hope you all enjoyed working on some beam work at home. And I can't wait to see you guys. Bye.